It does. Oh uh, yeah, cam cam does work. Um, now, question is how if it's going to stay in sync or whether it's going to start um, chopping around is the question. And the other issue I've got uh, is uh, this is you know this is the UK, so it's obviously raining and cloudy. But this is daytime. I've got windows open, light behind me. But as you can see, I'm still shrouded in darkness. And this is with the um, this is with my camera's aperture wide open, as wide as I can go. So I, I need light, which I don't have, um, unfortunately. If it was sunny, I might be able to get away with it. Um, but yeah, need some sort of light, I think. Uh, otherwise, I, I do it very shadowy, don't I? But hey. Right, I'll be back. Or am I still talking to myself? Not for the first time. Are we still bu 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 buffering? I mean, done a good guy about how to buffer foes, but now getting into buffering streams. Hey, yeah, man, how you doing? I don't know if you were here before. I had a stream running, and then YouTube does its thing where it goes, Oh no, your bitrate's awful. And I'm like, is it? And I check, I haven't touched anything. I'm still getting a fairly good solid down uh, upload speed, so I don't know why the hell it just decides to give up. Um, I can't tell if it's a YouTube thing or if it's OBS playing up. Just got to when you're back live. Yes, well, at least there's someone here. Um, I, it's the same stream, so I don't know whether it will catch up with everyone else or not. Uh, I'm going for the good old fashioned IT approach of turning it off and on again seeing if that works but uh, yeah trying out with this old air camera um, it is a little bit dark that is the problem yeah yeah that was a bit of a decent I don't know why it does it like I said because all I get is suddenly my a message pops up saying you're below the recommended bit rate and I'm like well I haven't touched anything so I don't know why uh, and all my my down, my upload and download speed is just the same. Um, it probably is probably my uh, router showing its age. I'm getting off Virgin Media fairly soon, um, so hopefully that'll be a bit more reliable. Oh, good, we stopped buffering. O OBS, so OBS is the software used for streaming, and also I do all my recording. Uh, so that's that's where that's why you can see me here, and why you can see my little my little inputs there. It's because it's all it's all input into one bit of software and then that spits out the uh, recording and I can't tell what it is that when when something goes wrong it could be OBS playing up or it could be YouTube playing up or it could be any manner of things but anyway we seem to be back now um, yeah you're right game. I mean look, OBS has got its flaws but ultimately it is free and, and that's its major upside and it does let you tinker quite a lot but yeah it's annoying when little rats Right, are we back again? Anybody here? Oh, I'm still going to talk to myself. We're back. Hello, hello, Stormfly. So I've I've tried lowering the um I've tried lowering the bit rate down to eight thousand. We'll see how that goes. Um. Why, hello. That's very kind of you. I'm surprised uh, you can tell if I'm ugly or handsome because I'm basically fairly shout <laughs> shrouded in darkness uh, as it stands. Uh, on the camera itself, my little screen, I look a lot less uh, dark, so I think I'm losing some. Uh, I'm losing some stuff through the software, or it could be through the USB. But either way, this is the UK, so obviously it is raining and cloudy, because of course it is. Uh, but despite that, I've got windows. You know, all my curtains are open, all the rest of it, and I'm still like so. It's so dark in here. I need. I need some sort of key light, which I don't have. Uh, oh, that's, that's very kind of man. Um, the thing is, is it might have better than some, but you may have noticed, at least I think I do, maybe I'm being a bit of a dick about it, but with my video presentation, I try to I try to make it look that little bit better. I don't like doing things half assed so if I'm going to do it, you got to do it properly. So I like my, I want it to look good, not like it. Although that said, it doesn't hurt Aries, let's be honest. Um, but I think he's sort of cornered that market for having sort of dank looking streams that are somehow really popular. 
You have a wife, so it's got to be your hands on this. Either that, she could be blind. You don't know. She could just have incredibly bad taste. That's the other thing. Or I could be incredibly wealthy. I can tell you it's definitely not that one. Uh, unfortunately. Or either that was she's incredibly impressed by Tekken players. It's definitely, definitely not that one either. But uh, uh, anyone around for a little bit of um, for a bit of a lobby session? Assuming that... Uh, I mean, how's the stream looking by? I suppose you can't really see much. But yeah, I have lowered the bitrate down, so hopefully that'll stop it from, you know, having a little moment. I, I think I can get away with a fairly low bitrate, because I am using, again, nice little technology lesson for you boys. I am using AV1 encoded because I've got a GTX 4070 so I am making use of that fact that the encoder is pretty sweet uh, so I can get away with a lower bitrate and it should still look okay on stream not like not like crap. Uh, how long you want? Uh, probably about half an hour or so. Hey Selick I'm, I'm pleased I'm pleased to uh, hear that man thanks very much. Um, yeah, oh, we'll keep on with that series. It's one of those weird things where the first one kind of blew up, which is always nice. And then the others, I have done more, but they just seem to teeter off. So I don't know whether I just got lucky with the algorithm on that uh, on that first one, possibly. But um, I, I will make some more. I'm going to make some sp on specific characters. Um, uh, interesting enough, because the one I'm going to focus on is um, is Dragonoff and as you said because i think they're real sort of they're quite they're quite popular and they're very strong um but here's a here's a little question for you fellas because i can see all this on the youtube um uh analytics take a guess i'll give you about sort of 10 seconds to put your replies in terms of characters to look up anti you know how to beat x character what do you think is the most popular search in youtube drop a name down I'll give you 10 seconds and then I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. So, by people looking up on YouTube, who do you think is the most anti? King, King, go on, any more? I don't want to sound like clickbait, but the answer will surprise you. Okay. No, believe it or not, I, and I kid you not, it's Steve. And Yoshimitsu. Steve's first, then Yoshimitsu. That is the most looked up how is how to beat Steve. Which is so random. It's really weird. At least that's kind of amongst my demographics, because it gives me because basically that's how I can do that's uh, they, there's sort of an analytics part of YouTube which kind of says what what is it your you know your audience is looking up and that's what it is. They're looking up Steve and Yoshi. I mean Steve is just sort of out of nowhere. It's like what? Maybe it's because they're all king players and they've all been beaten up by Steve, I don't know. But yeah, I, was, I for sure thought it was going to be Dragonoff um, or so on. Yeah, you're right, Stormfly. I mean, you know, it's like, um, can't even use two of his buttons properly. And it's like, yeah, how the hell do you make an anti-Yoshi guy? There's no such thing. Because every single Yoshi player will play them like slightly differently, uh, more or less. But yeah, it's, that's really interesting. And the other thing they were looking up is how to, in Tekken 8 is how to do instant while running, which is handy because that is something I can do. So that's probably going to be the next one I make. And I'm going to, you can't see it. Hang on, let me, let me reach it. See if this, uh, see if this works, mate. Autofocus. See that? That's what I'm going to do it on. So a little bit of a two for one, because I'm going to do a review on this uh, in the near future. But as a little sort of teaser, I'm going to show a how to do a um, how to do instant while running in Tekken 8 using, in this case, the Levelus. But uh, so nice little again. It's the reason why I wanted to get the good camera working because I want to have this. I want to have a decent camera on this rather than my crappy little 20 pound Amazon thing that I normally use. Pulling that back on the shelf. Yes, it is a uh, AD42. I've only just unboxed it. Uh, it's so small. It's like literally like the size of my hand. I mean, I've got quite big hands to be fair. I'm six foot three, uh, but, but it's still it's so small. It's like for those of a certain age, like me, you remember you used to wearing sort of those really baggy um, sort of cargo shorts. You could fit that in the pocket of one of those easily. But anyway, Stormfly, my friend, did you say you were around for a little bit of a uh, for a little bit of a session? I'm not joking. I'm six three. I used to be six four. I'm actually now. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. I've measured myself at the gym um, just to sort of collaborate. Because I've been under the impression I've been six foot four since I was like eighteen. But apparently I'm six foot three now. I've shrunk. It's terrible aging. 
you get, you get, you get weaker, you lose your hair, and you shrink, apparently. Oh, you can come on in 45. Oh, okay, no worries. I'm afraid I I'll probably be out to be gone by then. But uh, is anyone else around? Anyone, do, anyone, up for a, um, anyone up for a quick lobby? If not, I'll probably just do some player matches. And then we can all uh, enjoy getting key charged and teabagged. And I'm not even joking. So people are so sort of, so angry at tech at the moment. I make make 50. So Justin, are you, uh, so are you around? Uh, or are you just saying play some player matches? I mean, you're six one. Yeah. The thing, the thing is, it's like, ah, uh, oh, Stormfly, nice one. I, I, you know, congrats. I knew you'd make it like pretty high. You solid player. Um, oh, cool. So Justin, have I got you? Um, have I got you as a Tekken friend or Steam or anything like that? I'm very sorry if, if like we've been best friends for five years and I've completely forgotten. I've got so many sorts of contacts wandering around that I forget who's who. And then people have different usernames and it always catches me out. Yeah, but Adman, yes, six foot one is tall. It's tall, man. This whole sort of trope that, you know, the classic sort of thing that sort of girls say, oh, my man's got to be six foot all over. It's like, you do that. You're already like seriously seriously like wiping out like so much of the population i've forgotten what the average height of um the uk male is someone could probably google it but it's something like five foot nine it's nowhere near six foot it's like if you're a six foot and above you're already in a very small percentile of of, of people um yeah um grabs i'd be the same if i got to if i got to blue um i would probably stop there to be honest uh, I don't know if I'll make it. I just don't know if I can play enough rank to get there. Uh, so, uh, Justin, um, uh, do you want to look me up on um, if you fire up Tekken, just look up Beige Master. I'm guessing there's only one of them. I feel like I can get to blue ranks and plateau. Yeah, I mean, also, um, I don't know if you saw Fedex's video on it. He did a, re I posted it in my Discord. He did a really good analysis of from all the data he's collected and other people who've been collecting data for him about how the points distribution works and once you hit blue just like in Tekken 7 it odds suddenly really becomes stacked against you like you start you don't gain any extra points for um, beating uh, people who are ranks higher but you do lose the same amount and loads of stuff like this and suddenly the, the, the buffer you get when you rank up like between ranks is a lot less so once you get to yeah once you get to blues it does become a real upward battle. Uh, I mean, it's fun. It's hard enough to get, obviously, to get to blues. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the game is. It's really it's like the game is. It's it's deliberately sort of designed to get you to keep going. So it gives you little incentives, but those incentives get less and less and less as you get higher up. It's amazing, actually. I I played my Kaz, which is absolute trash. Um, I believe uh, um, was it. I think Grabs played my Kaz like a few nights ago. And like I keep, I can't even do being booze with Kaz, and I've got him like he's storming his way up to the red ranks already. Um, oh, Justin, you added me, cool. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, there you are. Ah, Justin, you're the Steve, you're the one. Good to have you, my friend. Yeah, because you're again. You see, everyone has different names on here, so I recognise your Tekken name straight away. Um, but yeah, so. Hey, we'll have to do a collaborative effort because, as I said before, I don't know if you caught it, but Demos looked up character pairs and how to beat, uh, according to my viewers, is is Steve. So you're going to have to show us. That'd be awesome. Okay, let's get something. Let's get something going. Right, we only need two, and we'll make private. That's all good. Is it first to three? Uh, where do you decide that? I don't want to do an accidental uh, first. Oh yeah, there we go, first two, that's fine. Don't want to make it a first to five by mistake. Do, 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 do. Uh, where have you gone? You were there a second ago. That is, uh, that's random. Oops. Where are you hiding? Yo, how you doing fellas? How you doing, Popsy? 
Uh, where have you gone? Hang on, did I actually add you? Hang on, I might be being an idiot. Not for the first time. Let me just check. I keep forgetting that. You've got to approve people. You can't just have anyone. Right, okay. Let's definitely, definitely check this. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, there you go. I don't know, it's so annoying. It gives that little notification there. You really should get it in the game. I wonder who John John is. Approved. There we go. Apologies, uh, apologies Justin for that. Right, now we can add you. Let's try this again. And we'll add that person later, whoever they are. Oh, Talgo, thank you very much. Assuming you're talking, assuming you're talking about my king. There's lots of good kings in this uh, in this chat. Uh, yeah, Grabs had his good little uh, YouTube um, YouTube showcase. I hope you're happy that Grabs. I think you I think you did well. There you are. I'll go back to him, Stormfly, that, that friend's request. Like, I haven't got time to do it all now. I'm trying to, you know, trying to set something up with Justin here. I'm not saying I, not saying I'm going to reject him, just do it another time. What is that 2P Gordon thing? Ah, I wonder that question as well. So that basically just keeps going forever until someone, like, dies. Literally. just playing a Tekken death match and you just you know die of old age or dehydration or whatever it is <laughs> no time is valuable exactly I've only got like another half an hour or so to do this test stream Get ready for the can't go wasting battle. it I've already wasted the first half with trying to mess around with bit rates you know and uh, and trying to that wall of muscle trying to add trying to add uh, Justin here Ah, uh, that's good. It is over. Oh. Wow, you pressed after while standing four. You're like at negative four, I think. Over here. Oh, I've got a question for you, Justin, but we'll ask it in a minute. That's what a question I've got to ask. When Steve does that little Kempo stance, can he block? Is it like, or is it like, um, is it like Kings? Is it like Kings Jaguar step where he's not technically blocking, or is it like Fengs where he is blocking? Oh, that's trying to do a one break. That's not going to work. Why would you duck? I should have just heat, mas heat smashed you. Okay. Um, I have made the uh, I have made the point several, several, several million times that Steve is a damn hard matchup for King. And he's made it even more hard now. He's got that that Kempo. Nice setup. See? Just dash away. Come back in. Just need to get you to stay still. And stop running off. That was really fast power crush. That was close. Round two. Fight. Over 
Okay, so we know that's a little setup now. Ah, that went. There we go. Thank you. Yes, we will have the straw break. Oh. Never mind. Oh, good. Yes, the stream is indeed working. That's good to know. Damn it. Wrong combo. No. Come on, duck for me. Ooh, that was lucky. Option select. I'm from the part of the UK um, where everyone sounds like uh, Ned Stark. It's probably the best way of describing it. Apart from me, obviously, I don't. That's good, I didn't grow up here. Come on! Fight! Okay, I don't think you can block. Will you stop throwing me? That, you know, you know about king mains and throws. Oh, I tried to whiff punish you, but that just kept going. I thought, yes, he's whiffed. I'll press the button. But I was like, oh yeah, no, he keeps going on for about eight years. Round two. Fight. Over here. How long does that string go on for? Round three. Okay, okay. Fight. Over here. Damn it. I'm gonna get that combo in at some point. No, you eat this. There we go. Keep it simple. Ah, uh, no, I, uh, no, no locals, and I'm aware of where I am anyway. Maybe I should start one. No. No more playing around, I agree. Ah, that's so annoying. That was my Jaguar sprint. Okay. Yo, Pineapple, how you doing, my friend? Just trying out this old ear camera malarkey. How is it looking? Uh, forget the person on the camera, just how's the actual, uh, how's, the, how's the image looking? I'm a little bit dark, I think. Right, now this may or may not be an incredibly good decision. This may actually be an incredibly stupid decision, but I'm gonna try a little bit of counterplay. Gotcha. Can you join and get beat up, please? By all means, my friend. We can probably just kick get Justin out. For the next battle. I we'll have an anti. I we'll have an anti Steve stream. Nah, just joking. I like to stay in one piece. Oh, I missed the special one. intro. Sorry about that. Fight. Oops. There we go. This might be a little bit better. Round two. Fight. Fight. 
Nice punish. Oops. Ah, nice way to punish, dude. Ah, I should have gone a little bit closer up and I could have had that. Ah, uh, yeah, back ones will be pretty good in this matchup. Is that my heat gone? There it goes. Oops, that's not actually what I wanted. If I'd got what I wanted, which was going to be forward, forward, four, that may have caught your little tempo. That's what I wanted to see if it works. I actually ducked then. Ah, so annoying. That was meant to be my that was meant to be my heat activation. I got a misinput. Always annoying when that happens. It's the most annoying thing is like, I don't get salty when other people beat me, although, yeah, it's really annoying. I get salty when I do something stupid that, you know, would have worked. Fight. Oh, yeah, that's safe when he's got heat. Ah, uh, so good. Sneaky low there. I really can't... The thing I struggle with Steve's animations, I can't tell what's low and what's mid. Ah, uh, that's meant to be my uh, shredders. Probably we're still lost. Nice throw, dude. Uh, no, there's no passcode. No, I just it's a it's a private lobby. Okay, so you can't block during that. Ah, not enough frames. Oh, I thought I, uh, I thought I broke that. Clearly not. There we go. Just needed somehow to uh, close the gap, which is hard to do when, uh, when Steve's got back one. Oops, that's a little bit under. What? I agree, Steve. What? I ducked that and punished, and yet somehow you parried it. Hey, GG's. I can't lie, and I'm sure Justin, you're a solid player, but I hate Steve in this. Why does he get to have, like, so much stance bullshit, like, in this game? And a Kempo. But uh, it's probably, you know, it's probably, like, skill issue and matchup knowledge on my part, to be fair. But, yeah, I can't stand Steve. Uh, I mean, I found, I had issues with him in, um, I had issues with him in Tekken 7, to be fair. Uh, but like I said, that's kind of like an archetype of just being a really good anti-king because he can just duck and weave his way out of uh, out of pressure and throws. But in this game in particular, it just seems to like have just so much annoying stuff.
Get ready for the next battle. Uh, yeah, Saros, I could open a session and I could, uh, I could maybe open it and just boot out, uh, boot out Justin. We'll let him, we'll let him beat me up again. See? I tried to sidestep, but your little weave just caught, just realigned. Damn it, that's a misinput. That was a damn misinput. Fight! Yeah, you're right. Option. You're right. So he does have some. He, he does have some built-in tracking for a lot of his stuff. Oh, trade. See, and what used to work with Steve was you could just like do moves like that with a lot of high crush. But now he can just kempo his way out. And again, demonstrated perfectly. So why does why does he have that? Can someone please explain? That's brave, dude. I mean, pressing when you're at minus three in crouch. Final round. Fight. Over here. Ah, damn, out of reach. Oh, there's my heat. Ah, oh, damn. Again, just... Kempo out of trouble. Which is always annoying when you're playing, you know, cat Like I said, it's a slight issue with the characters I play because what what's kind of Pauls and Kings uh, issue with both of them? Range. They don't have any. Um, if you're not up close, they're not threatening. To stay in one piece, uh, I have not seen a Joker 2 trailer. I have to check that. I love the first one. No, stop that. Oh, that's only minus 12. Nice dude, nice. Round two. Fight. Nice back one. Oh, out the air. Gotta not approach with that. But the problem is I have to approach with something with a lot of range and that's all Paul has. Ah, uh, why did I bother doing that?
Power crush. Power crush. And then a nice Kempo. And again, you can't get up close because he can duck and weave his way out of the Fight. I actually tried to duck that. Into back one. Oop, that was bad. Okay, definitely not minus 15 then, that's for sure. Hey, GG's Justin. Nice Steve, as far as Steve goes. I'm just joking, but seriously, he's a fucking piece of shit, man. I think we can all agree that his uh, we can all agree his voice is uh, number one of the most annoying. Uh, if anyone else wants to join, um, hang on, let me disband this session because I have left it on uh, I have left it on private. I shall create a new one. One moment, please. We'll just quickly call it Beige Master, just for reasons. Okay, so keep it to two, and that stops the uh, that stops the streamer from getting booted out. I could try King, but it's definitely. Ah, I can't see it. Let's say, but it's definitely. Sorry, I've got a stupid love heart in the way, oddly enough, of all things. It moves across. But it's definitely on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, seriously, just ignore me. I, I'm not. I'm not having a go at you. It's the character. I hate. I hate Steve. I, or, you know, he's not as annoying as some. I'd probably put the most annoying character to play against. Um, I think I'd put Feng, probably. But generally speaking, uh, as I said, just because of the nature of the characters I play, I play, I play King and Paul mainly in this. Although, prefer, you know, in Tekken 7 I also played Kazuya, Devil Jin, and Armor King. And unfortunately, until Armor King comes out, none of my characters are particularly good range. I mean, King's got 4-2-1, but obviously that's very, very, you know, you can duck that quite easily. Um, unless you're 100%, you know, good on your punish. So anyone who's got any kind of like high evasion, uh, you know, is already a trouble, you know, for King, obviously, being a grappler. So so Steve already had that. And now he's got Feng's sort of Kempo being able to dart in and out of out of, uh, out of pressure like Feng can do. Then that just makes me even more annoying uh, for, for a King. Which is why, like I said, why I think it's quite funny how they put the two together for their, um, you know, for their kind of special intro. I suppose it's I suppose it's quite uh, accurate though in in real life. Um, uh, in real life, it would be the case of a boxer would absolutely beat the shit out of a, a wrestler. That's that's definitely true. I suppose in that way, it's kind of accurate. Round one. Fight. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm sure we can just do first. We can just keep keep going with first to just do first to. Um, First of twos, and then the next person comes in. Oops. Nice punish, dude. Homing, nice. I ducked. That was counter hit somehow. What are you pressing? Ah, nice one, dude. Nice one. Yeah, yeah, Justin. No, I did. I did figure that out in the end because yeah, I managed to hit you with four, 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 uh, which is what I was, what I was trying to sort of see whether it worked. But the problem is, you had such good spacing. I kept, you know, I was doing it at the wrong range. Speaking of, why she got that as well? I swear, you, you guys are trolling me.
Oops. Oh yeah, that's right, she's got that stuff. Ah, nice one, dude. So she can lie there, wait to see what you do, and then fly off. No, you must get up. Oh, nice dude. Tried to dick jab there. Oh, that's right. She's got a hell sweep from that now. Don't think I. Oh, yes, I do. Woo! That's pretty clutch. Oh yeah, I forgot to answer you. Uh, oh yeah, Adman. Yes. Yes, oh, you're right. Adman's got his way to Red Fangs. I reckon he'll get out of Red Fangs pretty easy, to be honest. But, but yeah, no, he's... And if nothing else, he's going to have no issues with all the kings he's going to meet up. Oh, it's one of those days. Oh, for that kill. Oh well, that will. Final round. Fight. Oh, what was punish? Nice low parry. That is the correct. Uh, Correct response to that heat. You uh, win. The blue spark does more damage. Yes, I did. Yeah, I saw margins. I think like you're right. It does. And also, weirdly enough. Um, in, in this game, the the Oki after the Tiana Twist is also better than than the uh, than the Tombstone. Um, okay. Uh, oh, GG's that man. Do you want to do one more, or should I get? Or do you want to leave? I'll do one more. Yeah. So if anyone else, uh, uh, we'll do we'll do one more, and then um, there'll be another open spot. Yeah. So um, as I was saying about the. Um, the Yoki situation after Tiana Twister. So the reason why the Tombstone Oki is not as good anymore, and I I knew this from I knew this all the way back in the in the in the, the CNT testing, because I could never land the four two one. It's because the recovery of Tombstone is now slower. So you have once you've landed a throw, you're you, you've got less frames basically because you recover slower. Uh, whereas the Tiana Twister, the Yoki is much better. In nine times out of ten, again going by margins battle. tech, actually four three is you know, hits a lot of uh, options if you land a Tiana Twister. So, more damage if you can get the blue spark and a better Oki situation. Uh, and obviously, still a two throw. Um, so, you know, in terms of throw breaks, it's the same. So, you're right, I should spam it more, to be honest. Uh, Adman, get ready. You might be, uh, we might have to spam your, uh, use the uh, guinea pig. Come on, you know I'm going to do that. I've landed that setup on you like 8 million times. Oh, you're right. Tombstone does break floors. That is true. Fight. Now, come on. You know the sequence by now. Oh, unless I drop it. Oops. Oh, that was meant to, uh, that was meant to be my, um, oops. Nice downfall too. 
Ah, uh, I forget that she's got that string, uh, that wall, that wall crushes. Was that wall crushes, wall spats? Yeah, we're just testing a theory out. See? Let's try to do that again. Ah, it doesn't hit that. So that so it doesn't hit if he rolled that side. I suppose that's where you get the. Uh... No. No to chainsaws around here. Round four. Fight. Yeah, I reckon. Um, like I said I reckon Adman once. Uh, when he's ready to take on the red hell, I reckon you'll get through without too much bother. But yeah, it's interesting. So I've always favoured um, I've always favoured Tombstone over Tijuana Twister. Uh, but yeah, it's probably the stronger vote. And the other thing, just to you know, add to its add to its pros in terms of why it's better than Tombstone is obviously. It also catches people in the air, um, you know, which is sort of like, I always find it's a little bit of a random thing, but actually that makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of moves here where like if someone tries to do like a hop kick or something or an orbital and you get the throw in, you'll catch them. Whereas if it's a standard throw, it'll hit you. Fight. Different option this time. Well done. That was the correct option. We need to try to get down to the next level as well. Let's go this way. No. Oh, damn. There we go. If in doubt, just do it a second time. Okay, and now we can see the benefits of a tombstone, hopefully. Oops. Here we go. So this is what T1 and Twister can't do, admittedly. Hey! Her wall throw is so ridiculous in terms of how far away she gets. Hey, GG's out, man. Thank you for helping uh, demonstrate to the class the uh, differences between King's two throws. Ah, uh, uh, man, you, you did well. I was being a bit of a bully. Uh, but it was, it was very kind of you to help us go through the uh, the, the pros and cons of um, of, of King's uh, two throws. So, Adman, if you wouldn't mind just um, vacating, uh, just so if anyone else wants to join. If no one else does, he can probably jump back in again, to be fair. No, that's not leaving, that's staying. What's happened? There we go. I was going to say, what's that all about? Ah, pineapple. Good to have you here. Uh, no, there's no password. It's just open. Just look for Beige Master um, session name. I know why she. Um. Ah, so pineapple. If memory serves me correct, you are ridiculously good. Which is a bit unfortunate because, to be honest, like all my viewers are really good. Um, it's meant to be, my whole channel is meant to be around sort of helping new players out. So I thought everyone, you know, if I do anything like this, it's going to be this all brand new business. No, you all come along like you all completely smoke me. It's like, come on, boys. Either that or I've just, uh, or I've just taught you really well. 
We'll, we'll, we'll put it to that. We'll just say that you're all my apprentices and now you've all just become like masters. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to switch my account to my phone just so I can see the stream from a different Round perspective. One. Fight. Nice, Dark. I should have confirmed it. I, that's going to be another video I'm going to do, like, trying to... Oh, I thought I ducked. Trying to show how to confirm the counter hit um, down 4 2. Ah, oh, that whiff, damn it. Well, I say it whiffed, I think you stepped it. That's kind of hit. Beautifully done. There you see, you did this last time, Pineapple. You should know that's the oldest flowchart in Tekken. Or one of them. Ah, Duck, you had that. Adman, I, I'm pleased you asked that because that is also going to be, that is probably going to be the next uh, video I make. There we go. Nice, that backdash. Oh, why did I duck? You've got heat. That was stupid. Oops, <laughs> that's me trying to... Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, so I'm, it's gonna be the video I'm gonna make because uh, it's gonna be a two for one. Cause I keep saying I'm gonna do an anti as you said, so it's gonna be linked to that. So I'm gonna do a video on how to lab, but it's gonna be very very basic like labbing. So it's not gonna be like high level because to be honest, fight. Um, because to be honest, I haven't got you know. If you're anything like me, I haven't got time to literally go through someone who might have a move set of 150, 200 moves, and you know. Go through them all. Damn it. Go through them all and, uh, you know, discuss every single move and, and lab from there. So, what I'm going to. I uh, pressed 1 plus 2, that was sneaky. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is kind of feature as you said and go through. Oh, that's, that was it. I had it. Um, and go through sort of what's worth labbing and in Tekken 8 I think the best things to lab would be um, the heat engages so work out because obviously heat's so strong work out what is um, what the heat engages are because everyone's going to be trying to land them and of the, of the heat engages are any of them unsafe so for example if we do this if um, that, that's because I hit him uh, if he if if he'd blocked the first hit, he can duck the second. Come on, Pineapple, you're meant to be showing this. Um, so, as you said, I believe I can't remember which one. I'm sure she's got a heat. She's got a heat engage. It's quite unsafe. So that's the first thing. Nice whip punish. Ah, oh, damn, that's meant to be my uh, run. Stay down or get up. Either one works. Round four. Fight. Ah, nice. I pressed one. Whoops, that was missing, but... Ow. Well, over now, we'll swap sides again. There we go. So he ducks for his, as a demonstration and then punish me with a throw. But yeah, so, so back to the subject. Go through 
Go through the... Uh... Damn it, I keep pressing 1 plus 2. That's so well hidden, that um, giant swing. Um... So go through the heating gauges. Are any of them unsafe? Because that's the kind of stuff people would be trying to spam. Then go through their punishers. I press 1, damn it. Um, because... Again, punishment is quite important in this game. And if you if you mess up a punish, again, I want to know which ones are unsafe. So, for example, um, so for example, um, Mishima Flash Punch combo one one two is one of the best punishes in the game. Forget best ten phrase; it's one of the best punishes. Full stop. And um, but it's minus. 19 I think was 18 it's super minus if, it, if they block it so that's an important factor to know because you got to think to yourself if I'm playing against this character if I do something and they try and punish it and they mess it up it's going to be a move you're going to see a lot so you know so again if you lab that you find out which of their punishers are actually quite minus if they if they mess them up that's another important thing to know so the classic for King, if you know, this is this is sort of one of Get ready for the next battle. some of King's weaknesses outside of his ten frame punishers. They be, they all start to become quite unsafe. So for example, back Round one two one. is like minus, it's at least minus twelve. It might be more. So if you mess up a punish, then then you're going to get punished right back. Nice duck. I should have gone mid again. Round two. Fight. So basically, that's not what I wanted. So basically, go through the um, go through their heating gauges. Are any of them unsafe? Uh, go through their punishers again. Are any of them unsafe? There we go. Now that's an ultimate heat comeback. So go through heat engages only from unsafe. Um, punishes are any of them unsafe. Then look for their launchers. And again, are any of those particularly unsafe? Although some of that will fall into the, um, you know, their punishes. So for example, if they like to punish with a down forward two. Nice dude. So if they like to punish with a down forward two, is it a safe one or is it a uh, or is it unsafe? Uh, and then basically also go through their general launches, and again, lots of them might be panic moves, and which ones are unsafe. So you, you see what I mean? So you're kind of just doing this. You're, oh, I should have broken that. Oops. Damn it. Nice break, dude. There we go. That was counter hit. Oops. Never mind. Yeah, so... And basically, that would be my... And then the other thing, specifically for Razu Zena, so she's a character with a lot of stances. And characters that have stances generally speaking they have a lot of really good moves behind their stances um, so what you want to know is what moves do they like to, what moves do they have to do to get into those stances and then again are any of them unsafe or do they have weaknesses because it's going to be a move they're going to spam a lot damn I was too slow now I've been straight into the wall as well so, for example, when I played Negan in Tekken 7, he had a move, I uh, can't remember exactly what it was, I think it was down forward 4-2, four, which was a really good way to getting into his stance. Round and it was one. plus and block, but it was low, it was mid-high, so you could duck it. Um, 
So if someone knew that in a matchup, then you know that's a really big deal because that means it's gonna you know it's gonna stop them from getting into the stance. I press one, damn it. Nice whip punish. So that's the kind of basic labbing I would do. You know, that's not going to cover everything. But I think that's going to cover correct punish. But that's going to cover sort of um, a lot of your stuff that you're sort of like your, your, you know, basic... That's going to cover your basic sort of, you know, who, someone who's picked up as you Zena and say they're in sort of, you know, mid to low ranks. What's the kind of stuff they're going to do? That's the kind of thing, I'd say, when it comes to labbing. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, uh, the classics. Sometimes they just work. Oh, that's annoying. Good option, though. Yeah, Stormfly and 8-Bit would be unstoppable. Yes, yeah, take those, put those boys in the team, send them off to Evo, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, anyone else want to quick? I could probably do one more. Uh, if anyone else wants to jump, wants to jump in. Yeah, you're right, Adman. I mean, and and the whole point of my, the whole point of my, yeah, GG's pineapple, um, destroyed, but not to be, uh, <laughs> not 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 surprised. Yeah, Sarah, you come and you come and join in. Yeah, if you, if you have, um, yeah, I think if you if we can let Sarah sing, he has he's been waiting quite patiently. Um, and other people keep jumping in before he does. But yeah, I have to make it the last one. But it's been a good little test stream. The camera, it's still functioning once we uh, once we fix the bitrate. I do still think I'm quite I'm quite dark. Uh, and like I said, this is daytime. At night, this would be impossible because all you'd have is like that light like over there, which is in the background, it's not doing anything. Uh, and the light of the monitor, and there's not much there because most of the screen is dark, as you can see. Uh, so without any additional lighting, I, I couldn't stream. I couldn't do this if it was um. I couldn't do this if this was evening time. Yeah. Um. So you should be able to. What region are you in? You're 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 EU, aren't you? But yeah, there's no there's no there's no there's no passcode or anything. EU two. Yeah, yeah. So you should find it. There's there's no private um. There's no private slots or anything. Yeah, so like I said, it looks yeah. So in terms of lighting, just about okay now. I like it to be a little bit more lighter. And bear in mind, I'm using so this lens because this camera is like you know way over OTT for webcam. It's just it so happens that I can. Um, it just happens that I can use the webcam. I use it for I use it for other stuff normally, um, uh, but basically, like the lens is like really, really good. It's got a really, really, really low aperture, and even that cranked all the way wide open, let as much light in as possible, and it's still a pretty dark kind of like image. Um, that's why you do get this nice kind of what we call um, uh, what we call in the in in the photography where we call it bokeh which is when like the, the background's all like blurred it's when you have the aperture really really cranked up to like the max and so you're letting a lot of light um it's good for good for um nighttime shots uh you sure so you sure so as well vmash if you want to if you want whoever gets in first then um i mean like i said i can uh 
I haven't got much longer. If you want, I can spend the rest of the I can I can spend the rest of the stream discussing photography and lenses and apertures if you're really interested. I haven't got, I haven't got into the subject of um, shutter speeds yet. Can you know can talk all day about that? All about the uh, golden rule and why you want to have the one over fifty. Ah, oh, sorry about it, sir. I don't know what I, was, I don't know why why you can't find it. Yeah, there's no passcode. Should just should just work. Just look it up. Yeah, I can talk. Like I say, if you want, I can discuss. I can discuss the golden, like the uh, the triangle about uh, perfect light exposure, ISO, um, shutter speed, aperture. Although it shouldn't actually. No, no, it is that is right. ISO is like I don't know if that technically counts. Because ISO, no, because ISO is a is a digital camera specific stuff. So what would it be? Shutter speed, aperture. Uh, I don't know what else would you use to um, what else would you use to affect it? Yeah, it does oh, there you go. Hey, Sarosh, you're here. Nice one. Our oh, admin photography is pretty basic, really. It's not changed since like it's almost the same. It's a bit like it's a bit like cars. It's not really changed that much since like the um. You know, since the first, since the first camera, this has got more complicated with it being digital. But all the basics are still there. It's a lens. It's two bits of glass that let in light, and just exactly how that light gets into the camera, or the back in the day, battle. how it get onto the celluloid of the film, uh, it's just exactly the same principle. It's just a bit more. Uh, it's just more options now. Hey, Sarah, you lied to me. I thought you were. I thought you were a mighty ruler. Have you um? Have you gone and promoed up Round in the meantime? That like maybe someone else I'm thinking of. Oh, I was gonna do that. That's a chunky bit of damage if you don't break that throw. Nice break. Ah, oh, damn. What? Oh, that's a silly idea. I tried to step. Round two. Fight. Oops. There we go. Stepped it finally. I don't think I've landed one combo. Nice back dash. That's pretty clean. Oops. Oh dear, too slow. That's counter hit. That's not what I wanted. That was meant to be a um Is that gonna kill? Wow. Yeah, that was meant to be a uh, that was meant to be a CD um, one plus two, and instead, and instead I got a uh, rage out. Always annoying. What? Can't believe I didn't have time to down three you there. Need to work out what the best punish is for that. Ow. Oh. 
Oh, that was a little bit lucky. You two's chat still trying to find you. You're right. There needs to be some sort of need some sort of like um, system here to find lobbies. It does seem a little bit convoluted, you know. Like maybe there should be a way where like you can set up a lobby with like a unique pass. Like it doesn't be a unique name, just a just a just like a series of like numbers or something. Oops. Ah, so you get that after magic ball. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, why can't you just set up a lobby and it like gives you like a like a passcode and you just have to search for that? But no, I suppose they just want to give us oh they want to give us more Tekken Ball, I guess. Not even a good Tekken Ball, not Tekken Ball a game. I mean Tekken Ball is in the uh, 3D render. Oh damn, that was meant to be a wild running three. And got a wild running into uh What? You're crazy. Not seen that set up before. Ah oh, damn. Got squished up against the rule. Yo, parts! That's very kind, I'm glad they helped you. Fight. Ow. You a uh, are you a king main as well? We're not all king, but we're not all king players in here, but most of them are. Oh damn! That was meant to be a counter hit shove, and I got the lariat. Counter hit shove before he would have caught you. No. He's not OP, ad man. He is much strong. He's just much stronger than he's ever been in any other game. But he's still not. He's not top tier. I mean. Well, yeah. I mean. The thing that everyone keeps forgetting is like because there's a sort of there's sort of a conception of well you know unless you've got like godlike throw breaks and King is broken because throws are so good. But it's like you, you do realize that every single throw is a high. Well, not everyone. Okay. Apart from his crashes, but majority of his throws are high. Duck, launch, punish. So in effect, like every time you do a throw, and you'll see, you'll see these guys launch me all the time for trying throws. It's like you are still taking a risk, um, which is kind of like the the bit that no one ever talks about in terms of in terms of king gameplay. So part of it is you have to sort of you have to be able to condition your opponent to not duck. So you have to, you know, you've got to use the miss. You've got to, you've got to play Tekken basically. It's not like when you pick up Feng Wei and just have a win button for every situation. I mean, that's a bit of a win button, admittedly. But that's like one win button he has, um, whereas Feng Wei's got like ten. And dragon off. Ah, uh, caught me ducking. Nice surprise! Like, I went, I went, I've, I've done like that many giants, that many. Um, I've done that many of those. I thought I'll do a giant swing. You'll never expect it, and you still, you still broke it. Round three. Fight. Nice block. Ah, I press one. 
Ah, nice catch. Ah, I ducked. Nice one. Yeah, Lily's pretty damn good. She's, but it's just because she's got such strong movement, you know. What am I doing? I can't remember my combos. Oh. That's how you went mid. Ah, interesting. You go for the ground throw rather than the people's elbow. I can't believe that. That's so much armor. Fight. No. Oh, that was lucky. Uh, yo, Sauros, if you're here, do, out of interest, my friend, what do you play on? Because your backdash is really clean. Is that uh, is that keyboard, or do you just got really good on pad? Oh, that's close. Ah, uh, this is bad. Ah, nice. No one's ever going to break that because everyone's going to try and break the... Uh... Stop it! I had this last time. No. Ah, I tried to 4-2-1 there. It wasn't quite quick enough. I can see you ducking, so he's going to try and do it. He's going to do the... He's going to do the duck the... Uh... No, we all got our own punishes then. Knew it. Round three. Any tips to doing Tombstone Fight. Power Driver? Um, so what I tend to do is what I rather than doing the input as it sort of described. Oh damn, I can't land this combo today. There we go. So what I what I tend to do, um smelt is rather than Fight. rather than doing it as described is I do a quarter circle back and then forward then two plus four which I just find um, easier to do than doing like the the way it tells you to do it and unfortunately I took so much time to explain that I just let uh, I just let Cyrus actually destroy me but I, if you if you struggle with the normal input try that one Nice whip punish. Oosh. Oops. Oh, I well, killed anyway. Ah, uh, so pineapple's the same. Yeah, I don't know why. I just find that much easier. I think because it's like. You take your thumb, it's like zoop, 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 like that, rather than going uh, 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 which feels too awkward. Hey, Lightning King, how you doing, man? Uh, I can't do it now, Lightning, because I've got to, I've got to, I've got to get off. But um, what, next time, next time you're on, um, we need to rerun that. We need to rerun that set first to five, and with the sort of, if you're happy with it. Um, 
what I was thinking of doing with you specifically, Lightning, is because you're you're very very clearly a new King player, um, and I'm trying to think the most polite way of saying this. You have some bad habits um, that will work. Don't get me wrong; they will work in the in the early ranks you're in, but you want to try to get rid of them um, as you progress because you'll get destroyed by anyone who knows the King matchup. So, so what I was thinking of doing uh, was doing that first to five with you, and even if you even if you do the say even if you do the stuff that beats me because I'm you know a scrub and I'll eat it I'll point out stuff that you might not want to do like um, as a king player when you're sort of you know when you're ranking up so for example you know the, the classic is alley kicks like you know uh, if you've got a good connection alley kicks will get you destroyed if you try to use them anywhere above like the lower ranks um, just sort of stuff like that I mean imagine did a whole a uh, really good sort of video about sort of like all the sort of all the all the stuff uh, you should not do as a king player when you're learning. Um, so it did that for Tekken Seven. I don't mean he's done a Tekken Eight one. But yeah, no, I mean like I said, like don't. It's not to try to make you feel bad. Like I said, it'll probably work in the ranks you're at. But it's just if you want to sort of, if you've got, um, you know, if you've got. Uh, if you've got your goal set to get into higher ranks, then and where people know the king matchup from Legacy, like they'll, they'll, that kind of stuff will just get you destroyed uh, if you're if you're not careful. But yeah, okay, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. Good to see the camera. Apart from the issues we had with the bitrate at the beginning, uh, which was the stream having the camera, the camera seems to have kept up and it seems to have keep, kept me in sync roughly with the audio. I'm guessing. Um, at least it looks okay from my end. Uh, I don't know what it looks like at you. Does it look like I'm a ventriloquist puppet and it's like, you know, yapping away? Um, but yeah, so unfortunately I still couldn't, I couldn't run this setup at, um, in the evenings because there's not enough, yeah, I'd, it'd just be, I'd just be in total darkness. Um, uh, it just, it just wouldn't work. Yeah, no, Lightning, you're exactly the same as me. Like, uh, when I, got back into Tekken 7 I just did all the stuff I used to do that I did with Tekken 3 King um, you know like like alley kicks like the really really slow um, uh, down forward uh, 2 plus 4 to get that really slow kind of crouch dash animation into chain throws uh, all that sort of stuff and we all do it you know it's, to be honest it still sometimes works uh, on you know on certain on certain players that are not ready for it but it's stuff which, yeah, you kind of need to break the habit if you, otherwise it will get you killed like later on in, in your Tekken career. But um, anyway, fellas, uh, thanks for stopping by um, and testing the stream out. Uh, uh, just having a quick look at some stuff. Oh, all looks good. Yeah, so it's good to know the camera. It's good to know the camera does work. Um, but as I say, can't do it at night time. I'll just be in darkness, and unfortunately, uh, you know, there's no more. Uh, unfortunately, no more funds to buy any more kits for at least another month. Unfortunately, uh, I've already bought my two coffees with my YouTube income, so I can't do any more than that. Uh, yeah, no, likely. I've been seeing some. I've been seeing some of your videos. So you're ranking up pretty well. So that's awesome. Um, Yeah, pineapple. You're right. It's like it's a fine balance because like certain setups it, they work, you know. Um, so it's good to do. But you're right. You need to not become too predictable. Uh, although that being said, in Tekken Eight now it's now it's first to, now it's first to two in ranked at least. Um, that's sort of not such a big deal. Classic case of if you look at um, if you watch my sets with uh, grabs, I. I take the first, I take the first two matches like pretty competently, and then he adapts, and then you know, and then he takes all the others <laughs> like back to back. So he's he's picked up on my he's he's worked out what I'm doing. Um, whereas if we were in ranked and we did that, that would have been uh, I would have won. That would have been my session, you know, because you don't have the old fashioned you know death matches anymore like we used to. Uh, so in some ways, it's like yeah, I I guess that's why. I guess that's why Main Man says that uh, once you get to blue ranks, you, you're facing against players with the best flow charts in the world, and it's probably true because you, 
you know, you've only got you've only got first to two to learn them. But um, anyway, thanks for stopping by, boys. Uh, probably, uh, probably next next big stream will be um, uh, hopefully all being well Saturday night. Uh, well, Saturday night my time. Uh, I don't know what would be in the US Saturday afternoon, I guess. Um, and yeah, uh, hopefully that one. Yeah, we'll get a, we'll get a good we'll get a good bunch of people in. I'll advertise and that sort of stuff. And as I say, hopefully if it's on Saturday, we'll get uh, we'll get we'll get more um, US viewers in because uh, you won't all be at work. Uh, and I think what we'll do is we'll do we'll do um, single. We'll do single matches a bit like we've done now, but the question is whether we all go and whether we all go and try to work out if we all find the same cabinet in the in the lounge in the Tekken lounge and all sit there and everyone makes a nice queue, or we just do this where we set up one lobby and then people just join in and join in. But I don't know what's more, I don't know what works best for the people trying to join because at least if you're in the lounge, you can kind of see where you're on the queue and you can kind of work your way forwards, I guess. Uh, but anyway. Alright, cheers guys, um, I'll catch you all very very soon.